Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to have another look at the big discus tank in my efforts to become an aquascaper or a wannabe aquascaper. I'm just trying to make this look nice basically. So this is my big tank that sits in the living room. So I want it to be nice looking. Uh, it's got to be functional as well for the fish obviously, but why not be aesthetically pleasing too? So, Alexa, turn on the display lights. As you'll see, we've had some updates since the last time this has happened. Um, this is the tank that I've been battling Blackbeard Algae. Go back and check out a few videos ago. Um, we're winning that war, but as you can see, there's some extra brightness in there now. So the extra greenery in here came from an absolute steal of a find that I found on Facebook. And this is a really good idea. If you haven't, join as many Facebook groups that are actually based on local groups. Um, it might be your local fish club, it might be like area groups, that kind of thing, where people will buy and sell and swap, all kinds of things. So all these java ferns that you see in here, the bright ones that I haven't killed yet, obviously. <laughs> I've got all of them and more, and a bunch of wood, for 25 quid. So I think this was an absolute steal. I mean, look at this. Some of these pieces of wood that have got quite large pieces of finger root, um, red moor root. So I've got that nice big bit there, another nice large bit there, really good shapes as well. You spend a lot of money if you were trying to buy that in a shop, no doubt. And this one here, which is a nice low one as well. So together I've done a kind of few practice scapes with them. Together they make quite the impressive ball of wood if you like. I also got a couple of normal pieces of uh, the normal driftwood that you've got in there. All these plants and Another two big bunches of Java Firm as well, which I've put in another tank, all for 25 quid. Absolute bargain. So that's filled that out nicely. What I've also done is, at the same time, I had ordered some plants off of eBay, which have arrived today. And in this package, because I can't quite remember what I've got, I know I've got some Amazon Swords. So I've got 10 Amazon Swords. I've got some Ludwigia Rippins. Um, I can't remember how many of them I got. I think 10 stems of them and three Cryptochorine Crispulata Balancé. They're the kind of crumpled crypts, is one way to say it. So in fact, that's them there. Um, I've had good luck with them in the past and other tanks from this particular supplier. This is from As Ashby Pets on eBay. I've, I've bought plants from them before, been really happy with the quality of the stuff that's come through, so let's open them up and have a look. So the crypts I've bought before from these guys, and um, they actually look alright. Quite small, um, but you've got three plants there, two plants there, three plants there, yeah three plants there, but in a good um, environment they actually grow really really tall. In fact, I'll show you what they look like in some of my other tanks. And these ones, they've got a bit of a red tint to them as well. So they'll go really well. They're kind of background plants, but I'm going to use them as mid-ground plants in and around strategically placed. So we've got them. We've got some Ludwigia, which I have kept in a discus tank before with varying success. Um, I must admit, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't work when they didn't work, but I kept them for years and it was fine, and then all of a sudden they went south, I tried them again, they went south again. So these are stem plants, but when you buy them online, plants often when they're stem plants, you think you're getting a big bunch of plants, and that's a plant, but it's a stem is a plant, so that is one plant. What, what I would generally do is take off the bottom couple of leaves, stick that in the substrate as much as I can, hopefully that it will get a bit of a hold, and that can come up again mid-ground to background plants for these ones that bent some of the leaves but there's lots of new growth on there as well I don't know if you can see that so they're looking quite good and I've got a whole bag of them so that should do quite well and then finally I have 10 of these Amazon swords which aren't a bad size actually I was expecting them to be a lot smaller um, they're okay root wise you can see in there, most of them have got decent sized roots. Again, mid to background I'm going to be planting these ones because I'm hoping that once they take off that'll just provide that kind of bulk of plants uh, towards the back. Some of the, I've already got some Amazon swords in there at the moment and some of them are looking a bit ropey. So I'll probably prune them back and take some of the dodgy looking leaves off and plant these around as well. 
so the biggest gap that I'm trying to fill is in here. I'll take you over and show you. Here is kind of the gap that I'm trying to fill mostly. Um, I'll be putting most of the Lugia in there. Um, maybe one of the Crips will go in there as well. I had previously tried to fill that with Rotala, but it just it wasn't keeping off. In fact, you can see that single plant there. That's the only one that remains. The rest of them either got beaten up, moved, uprooted. Um, yeah, it just didn't do well in this aquarium. So hopefully I can get all that out again. In the final look, we'll have a whole bunch of plants that should hopefully complement each other. Now, purists will say, oh, all these plants are from different areas. They don't really go together. I'm just going for impact, green, plants, nature. I'm not going for a, a specific biotope or anything like that. I'm just going for a nice um, look of nature rather than a natural one that you would find in the, in the wild anywhere. So, let's get back to it and do some planting. So as this is a discus tank, um, the choice of plants is a little bit more limited. Um, discus, if you don't know, prefer a warmer tank. So this tank currently runs at 29 degrees Celsius. And that's just plain too hot for some plants. So a lot of plants will melt away and never come back. I've not had that much success with java fern in the past, to be honest. Um, a lot of the times when you buy them off the internet, they come as single stem plants almost, or a rhizome with maybe two or three leaves on them, and quite young at that. And I've found that when you use them, they just they don't have enough energy to bounce back once you put them in. Um, whereas these are big, bushy um, bunches of plants here with the travel fern that I've put in here and 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 here. And they should hopefully do a lot better. I've certainly had more luck in the past when I've used big, more established plants. So it's just a case of getting in there and planting these new ones, I guess. Um, I'll do this as a bit of a time lapse and then we'll come back and have a look afterwards. So if you can indulge me for just a second, just wanted to let you know that you can follow me on all the other social medias. So as well as clicking that subscribe button down below to follow me on YouTube, um, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So on Instagram I post pictures almost every day, or I'm trying to post every day about this tank and all my other various fishy endeavours. Uh, and on Facebook you can get various updates about what's going on. Um, as well as joining below, you can join this channel, become a member, and then you get exclusive posts and updates. So you won't miss anything if you just subscribe, and that's great if you want to. Uh, you'll just get a few extras if you do. Anyway, thank you for that. Right, we finished. What do you think? I've moved a few things around. I haven't kind of gone to town on the, the old and dodgy looking plants because I think they've got a chance of coming back. And in the end, I ended up not using all the Amazon swords at all because just too many. I actually got these Java ferns. That was a bit of a, a spur of the moment thing. I saw them on Facebook and snapped them up, but I'd already ordered all the other plants. So I think it's not full, obviously, because it's got lots of space left in this tank but it's quite well planted now, so I think we're all right. So I'm going to leave it like this um, for a couple of months just to see how it starts to grow in. This was this section that I was trying to fill out a bit, so I filled that out with the Ludwigia most of all. I also had this lily in here that I'd completely forgotten about and couldn't actually see because it was hidden behind this rock here. But it's got quite a few leaves on it, so I'm hoping if I bring it out into the open a bit that can start to bush out quite a bit. 
Um, so I've moved a few plants around and tidied up what I can, but I think this area will look good. Hopefully it will start to grow in. Um, I'm experiencing the same sort of problem where the substrate that I've used in here, the substrate in there, uh, it's obviously a sand bottom, but I've also used Eco Complete. So there's a couple of big bags of Eco Complete at the back uh, with all the stones and rocks on them. Um, but it doesn't really hold on to stem plants very well. So I've got them in as good as I can, but I suspect I might well be revisiting this to replant some. But hopefully in the next few weeks that should pick up. And then if I show you the before and after, if this is the before, hopefully the after, we'll see these plants up here. So as I can go for the, kind of this look. That's that's what I'm aiming at anyway. But we'll see. Certainly if you get in too close, there are a couple of the rocks, especially on this side, which still have quite a bad case of blackbeard algae, so the silver flying foxes have yet to do their work on that. But from a distance, I think that looks pretty good. So I think that looks alright from a an aesthetic point of view but obviously I'm not really an aquascaper I just like throwing plants in so I'm more of a planted tank enthusiast than an aquascaper but what do you think it's on my journey to becoming one um, I'm a big boy I can take it let me know your critique down in the comments let me know what you would change or what you think I should do slightly differently um, I was planning on ripping this tank apart and starting again but I think I might have saved it or certainly to my, saved it to my liking at least um, but I will go for a rescape at some point and I do want to do a lot more of this on the channel so if you're into this sort of thing please consider subscribing but these nice bits of wood have certainly pushed me over the edge to think I might get a few more little tanks um, and start doing a few more projects of trying to make them nice see if I can apply all the principles I've been learning about aquascaping for the longest time from people like George Farmer and his ilk so I want to see if I can put them into practice. Maybe start with some nano tanks, build my way up and see how we get on. Um, but yes, if you're into this kind of thing, please click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what you would like to see next, if you want to see more of this stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.